Hey everybody, what's up? We're playing Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It's the best seller on the N64. And we are ready to open the Temple of Time, so let's get started, you guys. Um, yep, we have these three spiritual stones, so... Why aren't they there? They're supposed to be there. Yeah, look, they're here, see? Um... Pull the Ocarina? Yeah. Wait, that's not how it goes. I always have trouble with this, just in case you're a new person to this. Yeah, we have our songs here. Um, which one is the song of time? Alright, right, A, down right. Alright, let's try this. For this commentary, since it's going to be a long cutscene, I decided to give you guys some factual information on Ocarina of Time. And I know what you're thinking, you're probably like, oh, I don't want to sit through some boring facts, but don't worry, I actually found these quite interesting. I searched them up online. Oh, so that's how we get our little three spiritual stones floating around. So beautiful. Um, well, I guess I should start off with one of my most interesting facts. Well, at least that I found. Uh, hold on, let me turn this down. The fact is... Ocarina of Time was originally going to be a first person game, so that'd be pretty cool. Seeing, like, instead of a gun for Call of Duty, you have, like, your little sword in your hand. And there's Navi, and I found out the original name for Navi is Fairy Navigation System, but that was too long, so they cut down from navigation to Navi, just the first four words, so that's how Navi got the name. And that's the Master Sword. It's beautiful. Uh, we can go ahead and pick this up. Even though we're a little kid, but uh, if we just get this right, grab it. Another fact is, uh, Nintendo was thinking about releasing an expansion pack in the early days, and this would allow users to create dungeons and stuff, but that never got its way there, so... But some of the features did go into Master Quest, like new dungeons and such. Ocarina of Time was also the first game to have Gorons. We saw those earlier. And I didn't show you guys this, but Milan's necklace has a Bowser face on it. So I guess when we go down there to get Epona, which was actually named after the Celtic Horse Goddess. I know, so many facts, but... um. Yeah, it has a Bowser face on her necklace. So, here's the long cutscene. It's pretty cool, actually. Uh, this is the Sacred Realm, I think. This is where all the sages are. And most of our friends that you meet, like, before a dungeon or something, ends up being one of the sages, so... Alright, he's Rauru, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. This is the Chamber of Sages, inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the sacred realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the sacred realm. Try on. Don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. <laughs> Puberty. We don't have any zits. Look, try on. You're big now. Yeah, we're about 18, I think. Give me my car, my license. I'm not 16. I'm 18. Wait, hold up. That doesn't even make sense. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to skip through all this crap. Uh. How about another fact? Um. Shoot, I'm running out of facts. Oh. This game was the first Zelda game to not have beams shoot out of your swords. And shoot, I only have one other. Oh. Yeah, the Star Fox that. 
You can look this up on YouTube. There's a video of like these Star uh, Star Fox shooter things going across, and it's not like a hack or anything. Well, sort of. It was actually written in the game's coding, and then people who hack the game can unlock the thing. Like it's not something they just added. Nintendo actually put it in there. Ah, uh, I hate how long this thing is. Just, I, I grew up. All right, you don't have to explain what I missed in the seven years. Yes, I'm the hero of time. No, I don't want to keep your spirit. That's weird. Keep your own spirit. Are you a Poe? There's a spirit medallion. No, that's not the spirit medallion. That's the light medallion. What? I'm such a retard. But the stupid thing about these is it doesn't give you any sort of powers or anything. Like, I wish Dad threw that in there. Like... Maybe if you got the water medallion, um, then you could shoot water out of your hands. I don't know, something, some sort of power-ups. Alright, so now that that cutscene's over, I think, I mean, it looks like it's over. Um, we can continue on progressing in the game. Oh, wait, no, the cutscene's not over, we still gotta meet the one chick. Oh, God. Yeah, speaking of which, uh, we lose some of our items that we got as a kid, so that's a downgrade, I guess, but uh, we're older, so that's all that matters. But no, you don't leave yet, and at first I thought that was Link, but it's not. It's another person. Pull out your sword. But no, she's nice. Or he. Actually, we found out it's a she. When evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. One in a deep forest, one on a high mountain, one under a vast lake, one within the house of the dead, one inside a goddess of the sand. Together with the hero of time, the awakened ones will bl blind evil. That says bind, oh yeah, will bind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by many people, the Sheikah. I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. You don't say! As I see you standing there holding the mythical master sword, do you, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. One sage is waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl, I am sure you know. Hmm, I, I'm pretty sure it's not Soraya. Just saying. Yeah, I don't feel like reading all of this. Come on, there should be like a skip option. Yes, I understand. Stop being my little babysitter. <gasps> Finally! Wait, is she still there? Uh, normally she goes off and disappears. Look at us walking with all our swagger. Come on. Why is it so dark now? Yeah, we got a little willy nilly crap. Um. Yes, yeah, so though, this is our adult link. As you notice, everything's all the same and lively like usual. Nothing different. Oh, look at these happy villagers. Yep. Looks good as new. Or am I wrong? Um, the first thing I'm thinking of doing is to get Epona because that way we don't have to walk to places. We can be much faster because I don't know how to perform the glitches to go fast in this game. I do on the 3DS version though. So just. Look, it's all dark over there, but it's all bright over here. It's so beautiful. I don't know if we got the golden skull tree on the tree. There are seven skull trees in the trees in the game, so just hit every tree you see. That way you'll be sure to not miss one. 
I mean, if you don't want to get a Pona, by the way, uh, uh, there's just a Pell. If you don't want to get a Pona, you can just go ahead to Kakariko Village, go to the graveyard, and then there you'll get the hook shot. And then that hook shot will allow you to get uh, to the Forest Temple. But we're not doing that just yet. We're going to go get a Pona first. And since seven years have passed, before we talk to that guy, I should show you something. Yep, we have Lanlan milk, seven years old, and it's still healthy to drink. Um, anyways, talk to this guy, and you'll find out he, the great complainer back then, is in charge now of this place, yeah. You can read his little text if you want. He tells you what he thinks and blah, blah, blah. And he's going to let us ride a horse. We're going to do some crap, and then he's going to challenge us to a race. Two races, actually. And then we have to win those races. Of course I want to ride. Uh, listen. Approach the horse quietly and stand by its side. Press A to mount up. Don't listen to that. What you want to do is play Epona song first. And then Epona will ride to you. If you race him with any other horse, you will get beat badly. Like, those other horses are slow. Uh, just let me ride the horse. You're wasting my time. Alright, pull out your ocarina. Oh, wait. Yep. So, just play a pony song, and a pony will come riding to you. And you get to ride a pony. And look, she's grown so much since the last time we've seen her. Uh, hop on her back, perform a few tricks, you know. Rider, no, don't get off, silly. Move forward. Come on, Epona. You can do better. Alright, yeah, we jumped the fence. Let's talk to the guy now. Uh. Yes, you do know me. How could you not know me? Now I want to ride. Uh, I don't want to dismount. I'm trying to get you to... Let me do the race. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm going to stop this episode right here. And then in the next episode, we'll actually, you know, do this. Alright, see you guys.